Hello everyone, Nicholson here, and welcome back to Coming Soon Movie News with Nicholson. This is a show where we break down all of the day's movie news and go over what it means for the production in general. If you're looking for a specific story, check the description of this video below and you can see the start times as to when they all start. But without any further ado, let's get started with today's Hot Topics. Well, we're right in the midst of production on a brand new mummy movie. Now, Universal has made it very clear they are making a um, shared universe of Universal Monsters, a shared Universal Monsters universe, I guess. Uh, I don't really know exactly what they're calling it, but this will feature, I mean, it, it it's not fair to use Marvel as an example of this, but just, I guess, how the movies connect, not necessarily that they're going to be superheroes, because other people involved in these projects have come out and, you know, completely dismiss those comments. Um, but just like with Marvel, Universal is making a shared universe with its monsters. So you're going to have Dracula, Frankenstein, Wolfman, Invisible Man, Mummy, uh, Bride of Frankenstein, probably, um, Creature from the Black Lagoon. All of these movies are going to be, uh, have interconnectivity. The characters are going to interact with one another. Now, they tried to shoehorn in Dracula Untold, and I, I hope that that movie does not continue to be part of this monster universe. Um... I would love Luke Evans to continue playing Dracula. I think he's a great actor. Aside from High Rise, my God, that movie is... That is hands down, I'm not exaggerating this, High Rise is one of the absolute worst movies I have ever seen in my life. I'm not exaggerating that. It takes a lot for me to hate a movie. A lot. Uh, there's not a lot of movies out there that I hate. But this one takes the cake. This movie is absolutely atrocious. Um, my God, I'm sorry I had to go off on that. But yeah, Luke Evans coming back as Dracula, I think he he did well in the role that he was given. It just that was not a very good film. Um, but I, I like where they kind of went with the Dracula character. I think that could be really cool in future installments. Um, but I just didn't think that the, the movie as a whole, the storyline that they told worked very well. Um, but now we have The Mummy. The Mummy is currently in production. Uh, they're about halfway through shooting, and Alex Kurtzman is directing. He's one of the writers of like uh, a couple of Transformers movies, the Star Trek movies. He co-created Fringe, and uh, I think he had a hand in Lost near the later later seasons. He's been a uh, writing partner of J.J. Abrams for well over a decade, like almost 15 years now. Um, and here's the kicker. It stars Tom Cruise. Now, Tom Cruise is not The Mummy. Um, Sophia Batella is the mummy. Sophia Batella was the bladed assassin in Kingsman. So she was the one who had the legs that were swords and she would run and jump, flip and kick and slice people up and all that stuff. She's playing the mummy, um, which I think is, is really cool. I think we're going to get something very different with this. But Tom Cruise plays a U.S. Navy SEAL who is on a mission in the desert to track down a terrorist cell uh, and then comes across the mummy. And then has to deal with all the fallout from that and all that kind of stuff. And it's going to be more of a, an action-adventure horror film. Actually, I think it's going to be more of an action-horror film uh, than it is action-adventure. Kind of steering away from the Brendan Fraser movies. But to to in keeping with the shared universe, we were wondering, okay, well, are these going to be standalone films and they're all going to meet up in like a Monster Squad type movie? Well, that may end up being the case. But it looks like these characters are also going to be peppered throughout the films. Because uh, Russell Crowe was just confirmed to be playing Dr. Jekyll in The Mummy. So we're getting Dr. Jekyll. We don't know if we're getting Mr. Hyde, um, but we're getting Dr. Jekyll in The Mummy film. And he may actually be working with Tom Cruise. Uh, I wonder if that's going to be really cool. It's going to be like how they do The Hulk, where Dr. Jekyll is going to be working with them. Mr. Hyde is going to be something that they all have to try to stop uh, or that they don't want around. Um there's there's a lot of cool premise to this and, and we're gonna have to wait to see a trailer we're gonna get a trailer probably in december because the movie comes out in june um but this to me i'm really on board with this i i really like high concept you've heard me talk about this on the show before i really do like high concept uh, uh filmmaking because you take an idea and you don't do a cookie cutter don't do by the numbers do something out there do something weird you know do something we haven't seen before um, point in case, I guess High Rise is a movie we really haven't seen before, and it was absolutely atrocious. Um, so let's not go that weird and that far. At least have a storyline. 
You know, have a story. That's all you need. That's what High Rise did not have. Every every element you could kind of piece together throughout that film. This is going to be a mini review of High Rise. Um, you can kind of piece together what the storyline is throughout the film, but all of the scenes that would normally show you that are all the stuff that's removed. All the scenes that you would never see in a regular film are all the scenes that you do see in High Rise. It makes no goddamn sense. The movie is awful. It's terrible. It's abysmal and atrocious, and I am, I am almost upset as to why actors like uh, uh, Tom Hiddleston and Luke Evans and um, uh, uh, oh, Miller, Sienna Miller and Jeremy Irons, why would they be a part of this movie? It makes no goddamn sense whatsoever. And it's not just me being arrogant. Like, watch the film. There's no friggin' storyline to it. They all live in this apartment or this high-rise complex where they have their own grocery store that they have to deal with. And apparently they can't buy food anywhere else, yet they can leave the building to go to work. So why can't they just go to another grocery store? That's the whole reason for this friggin' uprising. It makes no sense. And I'm getting mad about it. Um, Johnny, I hope you watch this video because I've been talking to him about how bad this film is. My God, it's horrible. Um... But I mean, to see, to get, getting back to the mummy, um, to see what they're going to do differently with not only the mummy and to see uh, technologically what they can do now, because the CGI is one thing that was hurting in the original mummy movies. In the first mummy, the CGI looked really good for its time. The mummy returns, however, they, they rushed that film. They needed about another six months of work on that film just to touch up the CGI. It's all they needed. They needed to put the texture layers on. They needed to do a couple extra steps. Um, and maybe, you know, not just remake the first movie, but, um, th this one I think will benefit from not only a better creative team behind the, the camera, um, a better concept from my understanding. Cause, um, I don't think that they have released the, I don't have a copy of it. They have released what the, um, official synopsis is for the film. So uh, you can go and check it out. Just type in the mummy official synopsis on Google and they'll be able to tell you there. Um, I'm on board with this though, but seeing Tom Cruise really being open to doing a movie like this, getting himself into another franchise, because he's been hitting it on all cylinders in, in the last couple of years. I mean, the Mission Impossible franchise, look at Jack Reacher, he's got Jack Reacher 2 coming, uh, I think, the end of this year. It's either the end of this year or early next year that Jack Reacher 2, opened. Jack Reacher Beyond Borders or something like that. I don't know the stupid title of it, but I really enjoyed the first one and I'm looking forward to this one. So... Um, but yeah, I mean, seeing characters or seeing actors like Tom Cruise and Russell Crowe team up in a monster movie, I think that's going to be really cool. And this is just like the, the stepping stones of where Universal is going. I'm really on board with this. Um, it, obviously, it could fall apart very, very quickly, uh, evidenced by Dracula Untold. But I don't know. I mean, Russell Crowe even said that th this movie is going to scare the shit out of you. Uh, now, actors are supposed to heavily promote their films. Granted, they are going to talk great things about movies that they themselves don't even like. Um, oh, what was one? Chris Evans was doing an interview where uh, they uh, he was asked, like, have, how difficult is it to, to talk positively about a film that you know is bad? And he goes, well, just look at my IMDb page. You can see a lot of the bad films that I've been in that I had to say, oh, it was great. And we had to do this. And I loved working with this person. And, you know, this day was really fun because we had snow cones. And, you know, so, I mean, it's they talk around the problem. Um, but this to me, I don't know. Russell Crowe has always been a straight shooter. Russell Crowe's come out and said, he's like, yeah, you know, you'll like it. If it's not going to be good, he's like, yeah, you'll like it. Like, and you can tell by his inflection. He's like, I'm ha I have to say this. Uh, but this, I don't know. It's I'm on board with this. I, I really have faith in this film. Um, yeah, I I'm I'm on board. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think that a Tom Cruise, Russell Crowe starring uh, mummy film that they're going after Sofia Batella in modern day sounds like a cool idea? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And if we get more information about this topic, then I will definitely update you guys on here. Well, that'll about do it for us here on Coming Soon Movie News with Nicholson. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have been a great audience. Go ahead and click that subscribe button there in the bottom corner. You get updates whenever a new video is posted. You can also follow me on Twitter or Facebook at Nicholson, N-I-K-L-S-U-N, for all of your movie updates. And also like our Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash movie news with Nicholson. If you ever have a topic or question like I've talked about on the show, go ahead and email me at movienewswithnicholson at gmail.com or put a comment in the comment section. But until next time, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.